Lux Jeanette was asking me earlier when we were coming over here to the stadium. She said, do you think, you know, Noah's going to run? And I was like, Noah will run if they allow him to. He wants to be out here. He loves to be in front of this crowd, loves to be out here on show, and certainly wants to be a part of this team. This is that one opportunity as an individual athlete. You get to be part of a team, and it's a completely different not dynamic, a completely different mindset. And the individual athletes in this sport, you really get into this, working with others and someone depending on you, and you have to depend on them. But it's also the bragging rights, isn't it? Who is the fastest? You would think the United States, with the caliber of athletes that they have, they're going to want to get the job done and get it done in style. It's uh, a zoo to lead Great Britain off. Zarnold Hughes on the second leg, Jamili on the second bend, and then Abu Dadzi to bring it home. Big smile there for Adam Jamili. He has been in this situation many times before. Sometimes it's gone well, sometimes it hasn't. That's the nature of the, uh, the relay. Yeah, but he's got a lot of experience, Adam Jamili. He's been in lots of different situations, relays and individuals, so hopefully he can bring that experience into this. Let's see. Jeopardy begins in about a minute's time. Steve Cram. Well, and days gone by, Jamaica would have guaranteed a goal for themselves here with uh, you-know-who on the last leg, but this is up for grabs, isn't it? The United States got the big names, Coleman, they've got Curley, they've got Lyles, but will they get the baton round safely? Great Britain with Hughes coming down that back straight. Incidentally, if you were watching yesterday and you saw down that back straight, Lamont Marcel Jacobs ran 8.81. On your marks. That was quick. The Italians won't be far away here. They are the quickest team in the world this year. So Italy in lane five outside Great Britain. Great Britain are in four, and I think all of the lanes outside of them are where we should watch. Jamaica in six, South Africa in seven, United States in eight. Japan also will contend in lane nine on the inside, France and Brazil. Men's four by 100 relay. Zazu takes it away for Great Britain. Coleman has already stormed out. He's going to give it to Curly down the back straight. The Italians are right up there as well. Jacobs has got it. Curly's got the baton. So Zanel Hughes, though, the big names down the back straight. Who's going to come out on top? The United States are still leading. Curly hands that off. Italy are right up there. Jamaica are there, and so are Great Britain. This is going to go all the way to the wire, but it is no allows on the last leg for Great Britain. Amadadzi dropped the baton for Britain. Italy are right up there. No allows is moving away. The Italians are coming through. It's going to be tight on the line. USA get the gold. Italy the silver. Jamaica the bronze. 37-38. Noah Lyles makes it a treble for himself personally. And yes, United States have fulfilled, I think, the expectation that was there from most people that they would win this. But Italy thought they would be good. They looked so good yesterday, and they've run a little bit quicker than they did yesterday. Amadazzi, bless him, he was so close to a medal. When he got the baton, he was right in the mix, wasn't he? Jamaica with Rohan Watson, their national champion, was just too quick on the last leg. But the United States taking the title, which they would have expected, Colin. They, they kind of think this 4x100 uh, should always be there. There was a time when they couldn't win it, but they ran brilliantly. But to fear the Olympic champions, Italy, they did very, very well indeed. And I don't think you can fault the British team. I thought they ran very well. Yeah, no, they were spot on, Steve. I think they ran a tremendous job, the British team. No embarrassment there, under 38 seconds, and was in contention at that final exchange, and that's where you want to be. You can't help with this faster men on that leg, so you just barely stay with it. But that race really was so dominant down the back straight. You had the big hitters, Marcel Jacobs, former world champion Curley, United States, tearing down the back straight with our own Zarnell Hughes. And that made the third leg so, so exciting. And it was all about people keeping a cool head on that third exchange. As we did that, we came down the home straight and literally our breath was being held because it could have gone either way, except when Lowell Lyles puts his foot down. Well, it, 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 as I said, I don't think anybody made any mistakes, really. That was a bit of a rough one for the United States. That was on the top there with uh, Curley, but they did get it through safely. 
and uh, that was happened yesterday didn't it i think it was the same change yesterday it was only the only change the us made was khan stayed in and uh, lyles came in on the last leg so that was a dodgy change yesterday that's not the best but they've got such good leg speed yeah i mean that was clear once you got the foot speed that the united states have but do you know what was like kind of interesting, Steve? When when look at Noah celebration there, where Curly went down the back straight and gave the baton to Keynes. Keynes at no stage panicked. He just kept his hand as stationary as he possibly can, which allowed Curly then to put the baton in. And that is a core good experience. So the goal to the United States, that is a world leading time. The Italians are better than they were yesterday, taking the silver medal. It was all very close. Jamaica just got the nod for the bronze.